this isn't like anything like we had before. Hacienda del Sol. Like, it's hot and I've got chill bumps. Whoa. Something just moved in our bedroom. All right. Is there anybody here with us? Is there someone buried here? My It was like a kid was tugging on my pants. I'm Jane. I love history and storytelling. My name is Bert, and I like the technical side of paranormal investigations. We gather lore from history and use modern science to investigate the paranormal. Because you can't have one without the other. Unearthly. History and Paranormal Investigation. New Mexico has become one of the country's prime destinations for tourists, thrill-seekers, and artists year-round. What was once lovingly referred to as the Far Away by artist Georgia O'Keeffe, New Mexico has been aptly given the name the Land of Enchantment. It's not only the land that's enchanting. The history of the land and the story of her people weave together a place that some believe holds magic from days long before humans knew anything other than magic and wonder. We considered many locations for our first investigation in New Mexico. When we chose Hacienda del Sol, we had no idea just how active this land is or how those that once lived there still had so many stories to tell. Taos's history goes back farther than records dare speculate. Along the northern border of the town, nestled into the beauty of the land, is Taos Pueblo, which has been occupied for nearly a millennium. Archaeologists estimate that Taos Pueblo was built between 1000 and 1450 CE, making it the earliest Neolithic revolutionary society in America that has been continuously inhabited since its inception. In 1847, after the U.S. takeover of New Mexico, the Hispanic and indigenous communities banded together and staged the Taos Revolt, during which Charles Bent, the first governor of this newest U.S. colonial enterprise, was scalped alive and murdered. None of the women and children of the Bent home were harmed during the killing of the governor. With the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848 at the end of the Mexican-American War, Mexico ceded the land to the United States. New Mexico officially became a state in 1912. Taos, like so many areas of New Mexico, is home to several world-class paranormal locations. A simple stroll through the town square brings one to Doc Martens and the historic Taos Inn, where guests to both locations notice the smell of roses and a woman in white walking through some of the rooms along a shared wall. Nearby alley cantina owners tell stories of unsettled spirits creating chaos for them while the restaurant underwent renovations. Many Taos locals believe that the spirit of Judge John P. Slow wanders the halls of the Hotel La Fonda, clad in a long black judge's robe. Slightly more removed from the bustle of the square lies another haunted location in Taos, the Mabel Dodge Luhan House, formerly known as Los Gallos. 
Originally a four-room adobe structure built in 1800, this was purchased by its namesake, Mabel Dodge Lujan. Her husband Tony supervised the renovations of this house, from simple to extravagant over the next several years. During their 40-year marriage, the couple would open their home to many of the creative thinkers and makers of their time, catapulting Taos into the artist haven it is today. Truly a woman born a hundred years ahead of the world she inhabited, Mabel Ganson began life in Buffalo, New York on February 26, 1879, being born into an exceptionally wealthy family. Despite having all the trappings of magnanimous wealth, Mabel felt more like a well-behaved ornament of the home rather than nurtured. She felt out of touch with that world and felt like she was appropriating a culture that she never truly felt a part of. Mabel was famous, and rather infamous, for hosting weekly salons. These gatherings were designed to bring together the brightest minds of the time in hopes that greater collaboration would lead to a better world. After her marriage to artist Maurice Stern, Mabel sent him out west to paint on a honeymoon lasting nearly a year while she remained back east, falling into a deep depression, a common occurrence for Mabel in her first three marriages. During this time, Mabel describes an encounter in a dreamlike state Mabel recalls, Once I was awakened in the middle of the night. I lay staring into the darkness, and before my eyes I saw a large image of Maurice's head. As I gazed, his face began to fade, and another face replaced it. A dark face, with wide apart eyes that stared at me. A strong look, intense and calm. This was an Indian face, and it affected me like medicine. Upon arriving in Santa Fe in 1917, Mabel felt very drawn to Taos and traveled there without her husband Maurice. It took approximately 17 hours for her to travel the 75 mile route. In her writings, Mabel referred to the deep silence she experienced there, along with the humming that she described as the earth singing and it made me happy. The purity of this escape fit her desires well. The morning she arrived in Taos, she leased the biggest house there for six months, despite Maurice's protests. While touring Taos Pueblo, Mabel heard drumming and a man singing. She wandered toward the music and was invited into the home where the music was coming from. Mabel found a seat and settled in to enjoy. Throughout the music, the drummer whose sounds drew her to this place initially sat with his back to her. When the music ended, the drummer turned around and Mabel saw the face of the man in her vision from the previous year. After meeting Tony, Mabel began her salons in Taos, bringing together her Anglo neighbors and Tony's friends from Taos Pueblo. In the early days of their relationship, the couple acquired a 1.2-acre tract of land with a four-room adobe structure, as ancient as the Taos Pueblo. This house is roughly two miles away from Taos Pueblo, Tony Lujan's home of origin. Mabel became inspired by Tony and the people of Taos Pueblo's culture, while becoming a strong supporter of their political and social causes. She promoted her home in New Mexico as a desert utopia for creatives to gather. Movers and shakers such as Georgia O'Keeffe, D.H. Lawrence, Martha Graham, Ansel Adams, and Carl Jung spent time at Hacienda del Sol. Here, she finally feels at home. Mabel loved the fact that women and men were equals in indigenous culture, the focus on the land, and the disdain for material wealth. She thought they appreciated the earth better and sought to bring that set of ideals to the world. After being married nearly 40 years, on August 13, 1962, Mabel Dodge Lujan died of a heart attack in the home at Los Gallos she and Tony created. On 
only nine months later, on January 27, 1963, Tony crossed over to meet Mabel once more. Well, we're here. Our destination. Taos, New Mexico, Hacienda del Sol. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. We decide to make the main investigation area our own room after we start noticing strange figures before the investigation even starts. So not going to post this, just going to have this for posterity's sake, but something, we keep seeing something in the room. Um, it's kind of man-shaped, we've seen like a mist, we've seen a shadow, yeah, but... Yeah, I saw a shadow, you saw a mist. Mm -hmm. And I just saw a man walk across. This part, I can't switch the camera around, but oh, oh, wait, it's not letting me switch it around. But that area right there, I just saw a man walk across the hallway. So I don't know, but just for posterity's sake, we're going to start recording before the actual investigation. So there you go. And again, just minutes later, another occurrence exactly where Jane saw the figure walking into the bathroom. Okay, so the next weird thing that happened... Um, I was going in the bathroom to get our protection stuff ready for the investigation and I just got really dizzy out of nowhere and it felt like something like walked through me like really hot, not cold like it usually is. So we'll see. We think something was more than keeping an eye on us because then this happens. All right. So what happened? So I was getting everything situated um, and we've got kind of spotty service out here anyways and I turned my music on and sat my phone about right here. Set it about right there. But my music stopped and I looked down and the phone went from there to here by itself. I didn't touch it. It's There's no like, I mean, it's a slick back Thanks. phone. There's no case on it right now, yeah. but it would have slid down. Yeah, it would have slid down. This is like an angle, like it's... Yeah. And I was thinking like the base, but again, it would have just slid down. It wouldn't slide up. Mm -hmm. And then the stopping. Yeah. And then right when I was telling you about it, like after I finished, after I said it slid, the mm -hmm. music started back up. Like it's hot and I've got chill bumps. Right, so and, since you've got the camera out, um, mm -hmm. let me give you all a little explanation. Um, we're basically in the oldest part of this hotel by ourselves yeah. there's one other room we're in one of the smaller rooms and there's like a living room and one other guest room i'm assuming we're the only people basically in this part of the lodge by yeah, ourselves we tonight we still have like an hour till we were going to start investigating and yeah everything's just, starting to happen like i i don't know I, I can feel the energy and i know i say that a lot but it's just like it's Something's happening in yeah. here. When we walked in, just to kind of like pre-look around and everything, we walked into an area that we're going to investigate later that has a fireplace in it, and there was an absolute, like, you could feel like a barometric pressure, pressure change. It yeah. was visceral. Yeah. So, we're just getting, we've never had to do this on an investigation before. <laughs> Usually they let us get set up first, but not tonight. Yeah, they are. Not tonight. So. They're trying to get our attention. We're just right off the bat. Well, we are here to communicate with you can't attach to us we are just here to find out if you are also here and you are so we just would like to let the world know that yeah and we, hear you. we mean the most respect and we just want to communicate with you and we will be on our way in the morning and you'll stay here Please. we are in taos new mexico at the beautiful hacienda del sol this place is so old part of it that we're in right now some parts of it date back to 1000 1050 AD but the structure that you see around you right now was built in 1804 
go inside and start our investigation. All right, so this is our first investigation site. It's actually our room. It's located in the oldest part of this building, so we're very lucky to have this spot. And we're gonna do a walkthrough with the SLS, and then we're gonna go to the Spirit Gate. The version 2.0 actually has the audio visualizer added to it, so we'll be able to see the responses in real time. And our very, very prized possession now is the Paranormal Puck 2. We are very excited to finally use this on an investigation. Thank you, Bill Chapel, for, for building this for us. We really, we really, really appreciate you. For our second location tonight, we are gonna be here at the fireplace. Really great story that goes with this. According to one of the stories told about Hacienda del Sol, the spirits of Tony and Mabel are still in the home where their story began. Once, there was a guest staying at the Hacienda in a room called Mabel's Salon, lovingly named for her days as a salon organizer. While checking in, one of the ladies noticed an elderly man sitting next to the fireplace. Charmed by this man, the lady walked over to speak with him. As they talked, the man revealed to the woman that there was a weapon hanging in one of the inn's guest rooms and that it should be removed from that room immediately. Startled by this, the woman spoke to the innkeepers the next morning. Perplexed because there wasn't a guest or employee currently at Hacienda del Sol that matched the description of this man, one of the innkeepers showed the guest a picture of Tony Lujan, and the guest confirmed that was who she'd been speaking with by the fireplace. vision in the corner. No. He's a den. Oh, I just saw an anomaly when you did that. As you can see, the anomaly flies away from the camera, indicating to us that it could be curious about our equipment. I saw the white mist again by the door. Really? Mm -hmm. Here, Although this is great timing, upon close examination, we find that this anomaly clearly has wings and its flight pattern is rather sporadic, debunking this as some sort of bug. We still find this clip vitally important because Jane sees the mist right by the bathroom door. I saw the white mist again by the door. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, oh, I thought I just saw something behind. Oh, okay, it's the lamp. <laughs> See, that's what I thought was behind you. Oh, oof. <laughs> that freaked me out. Okay, and we can't see anything right now. So. That's me touching you. Don't forget to step down. Okay, this is the bathroom. Is there anybody in here? There's somebody that's been walking back and forth a lot. I'm just wondering if we could see you. Amazingly, after Jane hears something move in the bedroom, we capture this ball of light that comes right from the other side of the wall from where we are.
there's anybody in here, whoever's making me get cold. Can they see you? Can you show up and let me know that you're here? We've got some other ways to talk, but this just kind of gives us an idea. After asking something to show up, we capture yet another anomaly that flies back into the bathroom through the wall. Then Jane sees this. Then at this moment, our mics go out of sync. Did this anomaly just appear above the shower to Jane? Scared as hell, I tell Jane to come out by me to be safe. Whoa. Something just moved in our bedroom. It was like on the floor. Is there anybody in here? If you're here, show up on that bed. this means anything or not, but I just feel like a blank wall. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being shown like a mental image of like a blank. It's like a, it's a big, it's like a, a dry erase board, like one of the wheeling ones and it's just, it's blank. And that's the best, God, I've got the chills again. So if there's anybody here that wants to communicate, you're definitely jumping out at me. Not in a bad way. I don't feel threatened. I don't feel scared. But we'd like to give you a voice for a little bit. Hi. Hi there. Can you wave at us? Do you see me? Can you see me? Thank you for showing up. I appreciate this. Oh, crap. You're staying there. You're staying there. Can you wave? You can move your arm. That's good. He's on the chair. He's on the chair. That's that really chair. good. I wasn't sure. I was like, is that the corner? Oh, my God. It's the chair. And on my camera, I'm showing absolutely nothing in the chair. So, hello. I wish we had something going that would record your voice and we could ask you questions. Could you stand up? Do you think you could stand up? I'm That's trying, good. It's like usually if it was like error, yeah. it would go away by now. No, it's interacting with us. Can you raise your hand like I'm doing? Like stick your arm straight up in the sky? Oh, it's sort of mangled. Yeah. No, we can't. Just in case anything picks up on any kind of EVP, can you tell us your name? If we get more communication equipment out, would you talk to us? If you want to talk to us, can you raise your hand? I'm kind of pointed towards... so weird. Are you pointing at the bed? He's pointing. Yeah, he is. You're pointing at the bed. Good. Can we use our tools to hear your voice on the bed? If it's okay to keep talking to you, can you raise your hand? If it's okay to keep talking to you, can you raise your hand? Please. It looks so crazy. Yeah. I've never seen that. Because I'd love to talk to you. Good, good. You stretched out your arm. And now you disappeared. All right.
right. I've never seen it just like hang out. Yeah, it's like sprawled across the whole screen. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to get the spirit gate out. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to turn the light on? No. Okay. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I start acting very spaced out for a second. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to turn the light on? No. Okay. I got that set on the chair. Okay. So if anything pops up. We'll see it. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right. So is that scanning? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you about this. I don't know if you've ever been around one of these devices before or not. But if you stand next to it and talk, we can hear you. I know we usually can't hear each other. So can you tell me your name? Can you start out by telling me your name? I'm Jane. This is Bert. I hear a man trying to come through. Oh, you should turn the fan off. Okay. Oh, Ew, yep. Okay. All right. Is there anybody here with us? Were you just sitting on the on the chair in that corner? Can you say a name? Hi there. So I'm gonna sit down right here and we're gonna talk. Is that a little better? Hey. So you were just sitting on the chair over there and I want to know if you're the one that we've been seeing walking through the door all night. Because earlier there was somebody that walked from outside of our bedroom across the hall to the bathroom. Was that you? If that was you, can you show up again? I can't hear anything on the spirit box at all. I know, it's crazy. Alright. So, I think I can hear a man's voice coming through. Is this black one volume? Yeah, it's like the, the noise cancellation. Okay. Hi. So... Oh, I heard it that time. Yeah, there you are. There you are. So my name is Jane. I'm not really sure where you are in the room. I'm going to look at the last place where you showed up, and that was the chair. If you want to show back up, I'd really like that. But since I've introduced myself to you, could I get your name, please? Hi, that's very good. Astonishingly, we receive a direct response that sounds like Tony Lujan. After listening to the mic recorded audio, we can hear this lower voice response a lot more clearly. Hi, that's very good. Oh, so low. That's the same voice that said yep in my ear earlier. Are you the same man that said yep in my ear earlier? So when that, I don't know if it's a coincidence or just me being jumpy, but when that anomaly showed up in the chair, 
I had like this electric jolt run through me and it wasn't like, I mean it was a few seconds after it showed up, it wasn't an immediate like startle reaction to it. Well, and then when it did that zhing, I had that same kind of jolt reaction. So again, I don't know if it's tethered, but... I've never heard that sound. Uh-uh. I've got chill about. bumps all over my body. I don't know if you can capture that or not. It's all over my legs. Can try that again? I think I could. Yeah, holy crap. Yeah. I love this camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's this Tony that I'm talking to. So, Tony, I heard that you showed up on the stairs, or not on the stairs, look at that. I've heard that you like to show up on the fireplace, and that you warned some people about some things that need to be taken out of the lodge. Do you remember that? Something has a finger, and it's doing like this. It's a fingertip. Oh, I, I like felt that sound. I don't know how that, like... Try it again. I've got chill bumps all over me. Yeah, holy crap. Like, the bottom of, like, my wrist is kind of staticky right now. I'm, I feel like I even have chill bumps on my shoulders. I've never... Alright, so if you're doing that, would you stop, please? Chill bumps all up my... <laughs> Is there anybody else here with you? Or are you here by yourself? There's a man that keeps coming through in the under, but he's so quiet. There's a man that keeps coming through in the under, but he's so quiet. So quiet. Ooh. Are you by yourself? If you're not by yourself, can you tell us how many are here? So I'm just going to ask any kind of proby question that I can think of to get you to talk to me. Because you're being very quiet after lounging out on that chair over there, by the way. Right, literally sprawling out. sprawled out on that chair. Which kind of leads me to believe that the person we saw was female, because you sprawled in that chair like, like a gal. Are you a lady or a man? I sound like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you a man or a woman? A well, woman? Yeah. Good. Would you mind telling me your name? I just like to know who I'm talking to. So, I'm going to ask some questions. Since you're a woman, you've shown up in this chair and I've had... Thank you. Did you have some kind of, like, pain? Yeah, okay. And it was in your... You had pain that was in, like, your, your gut area. Or it was somewhere around there. I ask because just out of nowhere I've been getting like shooting pains and there's no biological reason I should be having those kind of shooting pains right now. So, um, I was just wondering if it was tethered to this. Okay. Can I ask you how long you've been here? Yeah, let's get you in the chair. You wanna, Are you sure? You want to sit there? I can. Do you mind if I sit in the chair? I thought I heard no. Tell me no if you don't. No. No, no, no. Okay, don't sit in the chair. Got it. Got it. Do you want me to sit back down on the bed? You don't care? I was going to say, I think we need to like, move with it. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Whoa. 
Does that leave me alone? It sounds like you're not funny or something. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be funny, and I mean no disrespect whatsoever. This is purely for science, but if you want us to stop, we will stop. So we've gone from having little to no radio interference to a bunch all of a sudden, and very loud at that. Alright, if you want us to stop. I told you. Uh, okay. uh, or I... Yeah, I think they want us to stop. Let's try the paranormal puck. Okay. Alright, thank you for talking to us. We're going to turn this off. Power off. That was wild. Yeah. Like, no more. I told you. Nothing else can't survive it either. Mm-mm. And we got that one going too. Mm-hmm. So, who knows what we got. Yeah. Yeah. And then sweating. Yeah. Did your windows just turn off? all kinds of colors over here. Really? Uh-huh. That's weird. It's not doing any flashes at all now that they're close to it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take the car on the camera and all that. We start hearing strange noises coming from outside. In this clip, right when we start noticing the noise outside, the camera audio starts to distort. Now watch what happens when I pinpoint where the noise is coming from. A blinking anomaly comes right from behind me and darts directly outside to where the noise is coming from. We are now certain something or someone is here protecting this place. captured evidence on it. Literally, like, the battery's fine. Yeah, the battery's still full. The SOS is powered. Why is it black? It was like right after that session, it just ended. Mm -hmm. I just like stopped recording. Luckily, it, it saved. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. You've never seen it do that before. Uh -huh. It would like if if this if the connect wasn't working right, mm -hmm. this window wouldn't even pop up. Only this one, the white one, would. Just for and giggles, try that process on this other bed over here, like pointing it away from that chair. Just for and giggles. And this is connected. Yeah. Oh, 
What? I was trying to open the active presenter. And now it's working. Now that we're not facing towards the chair. That's wild. And again, something just kind of told me to tell you to do that, so. Literally just did the same thing. Move the line. Sorry if we're bothering you, we just want to communicate a little bit more. We just want to document this and you. What is your name? You're sitting upon the chair. Luhan. Do you mean Luhan? Letter. 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 Letter L? Is it letter L? Warm. Warm. I'm getting warmer. Okay. Is it letter M? Rocket. Rocket. Okay, I think we just got some nonsense going to right now. What is your name? Moment. Give you a moment. You see this device in this chair. If you touch it, it'll light up. Can you touch that? Hi. Hello. How are you? No response. Can you please give us your name? We're uh, we know we're visitors here, but if you can ask, just tell us your name. Sub. 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 Hmm. How long have you been here? Bones. Bones, whoa. Okay. That's, uh, Your bones are here. Are you man or woman? Opening. Opening. Are we opening something? I don't know. What's opening? Ashes. Ashes. Whoa, they're getting kind Is of this, specific now. Okay. Is it... Hmm. Is this a burial site? Alright. That's what you have to call it. Is there someone buried here? Sample. Malicious. Whoa. Oh. Too. Okay. Are you here by yourself? Done. What? Okay, so there's there's somebody buried here. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all that, that's just That's saying. all that's come through. My legs are freezing cold. Yeah, right I'm now. all of a sudden really cold. I'm I was so, so hot. Cold. Are you making it cold around us right now? Pat. Pat. Right, are you Pat? Are you. Did you touch my foot earlier? French. <laughs> like a French manicure? Like I don't a, know. Or a pedicure? Are you getting whatever? fresh with me? <laughs> That's what I. Hey. Hey. Hang out. So. Do you mind us being in your beautiful house? No response. Set. Oh, wow, this Wait. is crazy. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Is it okay that we're here? I mean, that is me. I am a white lady. <laughs> that, that, okay, you're funny. Would you rather talk to him or me? It just turned off. It just said part two to stop. We found out that even though the app randomly shut down, the word log still saved the response. And unbelievably, the response was Southern.
referring to Jane's southern accent. <laughs> they don't want to talk to my ass. Yeah, I was going to say every time. I, I'm, yeah, and I don't blame them. But I, I mean, like, every time you suggest doing something, too, it, like, it's like listening. Mm-hmm. But it just said it turned off. And now it's turned off. But it called me Karen. Do you want to talk to me? My name is Bert. Pray. Pray? Are you trying to tell me something more? wild yeah <laughs> like what it just said candle oh my god lit and it's a lit candle no, kept candle kept candle so did the candle protect us do you mind the candle being there above above it's above the toilet does the location of the candle bother you travel oh we traveled with it. Yeah, we traveled with it. We brought it really far just for this occasion. I hope you don't mind. Century. Century. Are we protected now? Land West. Land West. We're from Texas. Mm-hmm. Will you help us and figure out what's going on here? East. East. It said west and now east. Like it wants us to go back east. Let me try it again. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Do you want us to leave? I think they're getting tired of our questions. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. These are, man, they're these stressed. have been like... And I'm cold all over again. Like ridiculously yeah. responsive. Okay, well, if you don't want us to ask any more questions, we will leave you alone. Should we close the door now? I don't know why. I, I was going to ask a different question and something just told me to ask that question. What? What's opening? What's opening? Immersion. What does that mean? Is it because the veil is thin right now? Alright. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to ask this just yet, but I I get that you might have reasons that you not don't like me. And that you might want to talk to him more than you want to talk to me. But can you please, I would be honored if you would talk to me. So, is the veil thin right now? It stopped. Again? I got sassy with it and it stopped. That's so weird. It, it can't, like, it, it hasn't And I'm just freezing more. cold again, like. That's so weird. Yeah. Oh my god, my chill bumps are huge. Well, do you want to go. I want to turn the light on and chill for a second. Okay. I'm a little. That's f nuts. I can't put it on. I have a feeling, man. That's probably why you saw that thing over there. He probably was just chugging on it, you know? Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way. Like, I feel like, if anything, it just kind of... curious. It just made the place more active. Well, and it's, a, it's very, a Mexican candle. They're very protective of their land. Mm. And tell so we're going to do a session in the bathroom area and have our... Oh, just saw an anomaly. Um, have our, oh. And we're going to keep this rolling while we're in the bathroom.
Uh, it was like an orb. If you want that so you can see. facing me even mm-hmm. and you're doing it like behind. You said you saw something like dark above the shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we have this device here. You can communicate to us through it. If you stand close to it, we can talk. I'll let you take the lead on this session since they respond and better to you. Okay. Window. Mm-hmm. The candle. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us? Hi. Hi. Eat pie. Pie? Yeah. Did you mean pie or high? Warm. I guess pie then. Do you, is it going to get warmer in here? Are you the one messing with the temperatures? Because I've literally gone from sweating to like cold. Soldiers. I just heard it's going something. Was that you I just heard? Move something? Kept them. Kept them? What did you keep? Had. Oh, you had it. So, did someone take something from you? Just a maybe the thing. What thing did they take from you, Anthony? If that is your name. Angle. Angle. Can you show us that? Can you show us that you're here? Shaking. Happiness. I mean, I am kind of happy. It's weird. Like, I, 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 the shaking, I feel mm-hmm. like I'm scared from the shaking, but like, I'm smiling. Or I feel like I'm smiling. Are you making me feel this way? <laughs> now he's, he's shutting, shutting me off now. Try this again, and I'm sorry if this is bothering you. We just want to talk, okay? Is there another... Is there a name? Can we call you by something? Little. 
Are you referring to me being little? Are you little? Suggested. What do you think? Try asking just one piece of a question at a time. Like, are you talking about me? Are you talking? Oh. Are you talking about me? Opening. Oh. Ask her what's opening. What is opening? Seller. Projection. Seller. Projection. Star. Projection. So, is something with the stars opening? How's that? Is there something in the stars opening up? After we open this session, we do plan on closing it. Is that okay with something you? Something just touched me. Really? Sir, substances. Some, something just touched me right here, and it's cold across my back right now. Like, it's freezing cold across my back right now. Like, something touched me, like, right here. Like, where I was talking about having pain earlier. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, I mean, just chill bumps all over my no, arms. Like, it's freezing cold behind me. I know. I don't have any bumps. Usually I'd be scared too, but... Like, it's my legs. It, my legs are purple. They're so cold. Like... Hmm. Like, it, it really felt like a hand. Like, it was that much pressure. Hmm. Are you okay? I'm really shaking up. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try another one of our favorite experiments that we like to do, the Estes method, where I'm going to go under, I'm going to have a blindfold and headphones on, the spirit box is going to be running, Bert's going to be asking questions, and I'm going to be giving the responses. I'm not going to be able to hear what he's saying, so I'll have no frame of contact of what's coming through the spirit box, and it's kind of cool. Sometimes it lines up and sometimes it doesn't, but they're rowdy, so let's see. <laughs> The door was open, so I went to therapy for me. Oh, okay. Okay. Looks like it just got stuck that way. Asking the questions. We heard there was a man that was seen here yeah. by a woman. What? What is your name? Who's there? My name is Bert. What is your name? Bert. Me. Are you a male or a female? Bert. What? Just say my name. Can you say that again? I think that was the second time I said it. Roberto? No way. 
It, it said that? Okay. I feel like that same songy way. There. said it again. What? But in like a deeper voice. Hey. You want me to go back under? No, yeah. <laughs> That's just surprising. I'm surprising. When you go under, when you're doing this, this method, it is very dizzifying. You don't know where you are. You almost forget where you are. Can you talk to Jane for me? Hi. Thank you. Hi. My name is Bert. This is Jane. What is your name? Can you tell me Cry. your name? What are you crying? What is wrong? What? How many people are here with us? Red. What about red? Is there a burial site around here? If you just asked a question, ask it again. <clears throat> Is there a burial site around here? I don't know. Are there bones? Oh, oh, oh. Bones? Can you tell me where you are? Go. Go. This just chills us to the bone. Immediately after Jane relays the spirit box response, go. We catch a crystal clear EVP of what sounds like a little girl saying, go, as well. Go. 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 And Jane can't hear me right now. What is your name? Karen. Karen. That's the second time that's came through Paranormal Puck. Karen. No. What? Is your name Karen? You're not talking to Jane, are you? Thank you for telling us your name. No. No? No what? And I just keep on thinking I see faces in everything. Like, wherever I look, I feel like I see a face. Karen. Oh? We want to talk to Tony. Is Tony... Is Tony here with us? I'm here. Thank you for answering. Do you stay here because you love it here? I'm Karen. I will. You will what? Tony, who is Karen? Can you tell me who? A little girl's voice followed by, it's me. What? Karen? Are you a little girl? For real. So there's multiple spirits here. Can you tell Jane hi? This is Jane. Bert. 
Yeah, I'm Bert. This is Jane. A bug keeps on flying by my ear. That was me rocking the chair. Enough. Oh, I think we need to call it. We always need to make sure. I think we'll call it. We don't. We never need to push it too far. And we don't want to open anything we can't close. No, I didn't. Some bug is flying around me every time I would ask a question, too. Yeah. Let's well, get. So, I don't know that I want this on camera or on the show, but you can keep the camera running right now. Well, that's got to be like a. Yeah, like refrigerator or something. Why don't I put the headphones on and come back over to me? Why don't I put the headphones on? Um, I said you can talk through me, but you can't attach to me just in my head. And I kind of let that go over and over again. <laughs> and at different points, I would check in and I would just kind of say, you know, in my head. It's getting so cold. Yeah. You can't stay here, but you can walk through. And I don't know why. I've never said that phrase before. I, all I said was, you can't stay here, but you can walk through. And I'm getting chilled on saying it out loud because I was saying it in my head. Like, I'm talking prickly ass to us. Yeah, my hair right here is standing up. It's like behind my head. It's right here. It's bigger. That is weird. Oh my god. It just feels really cold. I don't think they were talking about you. They were talking about somebody, somebody else. else it, was it was like a little girl. Yeah. She might be. I think Karen. Like there's, there's a little girl and then there's Karen. I feel like they kind of speak for each other. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if it might be. I wasn't sure if Karen was like. There's something darting around us right now. Uh -huh. I just saw it in the reflection. I'm being dead still so that I don't create a reflection or a shadow. I have the hardest <laughs> goosebumps right now. I can hear it whirling around us. I can't see it, but I can hear it. It just went through the kitchen. So there's a light that you can see on the <gasps> tile. Mm -hmm. And it keeps walking back and forth in front of it. Watch that light. I just saw it over here. It's a, yeah. Oh my god. Maybe yeah, like over here. Uh -huh. Like they still watch the reflection on the tile. And that's what we're doing now. I was gonna say, I don't feel it anymore. It was like electric, like so much electricity for so like my like, pants were moving. Yeah, I wish I could have caught that. Like that's what I was like, I'm just gonna be still and say my pants. <sighs> it's so dark. Okay. We need to get out of here and we need to burn some. Yeah, it's like I haven't been doing that and that's what it looks like. You can see my watching, reflection. Yeah. And like when you move that's your me. head or anything, it wouldn't I haven't moved my arms at all. Besides the gimbal. And like the specific piece of tile I'm looking at is... Be still. Okay. I saw it twice in that reflection of the window in here. You saw it on our side or on yeah, the Yeah, it was like on... I thought it was outside. That's how dark it was. Sorry. Thank you for talking to us. We really love your house. Thank you. Everyone stays here. You don't attach to us. We don't attach to you. Everyone stays in their rightful spot. We appreciate you. I don't know why I'm shaking so bad. Because this is a real good shit at this point. 
Does it sound like anything like we f***ed before? Yeah. Anytime we do the Estes method and I go under, like I'm a little like, uh, afterwards. Yeah. Man, we've been at this a while out here. That was wild. We've been at this a while. Now to go back to our haunted room. <laughs> She's so different in here. Yeah. It like takes my breath away. I'm gonna get the Palo Santo and we can turn it around each other on the porch. So while we were doing the Estes method just now, I afterwards I said my pants, my pants, my pants, and I was standing dead still. And um it was like a kid was tugging on my pants is the best way I can describe it, like trying to get my attention. And it like, it hard, like hit my leg. Like my, but those, the fabric of my pants was like hard hitting my leg. But I just wanted to capture myself in the moment. So if we need to go back and reference it later, we'll have it. We just can't believe what this investigation has brought to light for us personally as partners and separately as investigators. When we dive headfirst into a haunted location like this, the historic research afterwards just seems to line up with the evidence for us. It's very much like each location wants to tell us their story. After feeling the energy here and learning about the love learning and struggling that happened here, we feel like this was our opportunity to make sure the names Mabel and Tony Lujan never die. <laughs>